So, so far in Nehemiah, they have rebuilt the wall, they have rejoiced, they have heard the law read to them, they have repented, and now what they decide to do is they are going to obey the law. They, these guys are determined. They gather all the key families together and they all make these promises. We will respect the Sabbath. We will do all the stuff it says in the law. We will not neglect the house of God. What can we draw from this passage today? I think there's um, one thing that I think is amazing about this, and that is they're determined to obey God's word. And uh, for all of us, that's something that sometimes we, it's an obvious thing, but we, we sometimes don't think about it, that when we're reading the Bible, the point isn't just to read it and think, oh, that's an interesting story. The point is to obey it. The point is to obey God's word. And um, when we obey it, it actually comes to life. When, when, to read it is easy. To read the phrase, love your enemy, I mean, that's very easy. And it sounds easy, love your enemy, until you have an enemy, until you have someone you actually hate and who hates you back and who's trying to get you. And at that point, the word of God, when you try to obey it, it comes to life in a whole new way. So my challenge for each of us is let's, t let's take in as much as we can every time we read the Bible for the purpose, not simply of having information in our heads, but of living it out in our lives. The disclaimer I want to add to this is that the people of Israel, although they're really determined here, they, they never really manage it. I mean, they certainly get very strict about the law in certain sections of Jewish um, history and, and certain parts. You know, the Pharisees are an example. Uh, we meet them in the Gospels. But they never really, as a people, manage to fully commit their hearts to God. Uh, sometimes they observe some of the outer laws, but it's that issue of fully consecrating and putting your heart before God. They never get there. And so the disclaimer is, although we want to be determined to obey God's word, we will never, ever get there. It's, it's, a, it's a burden that is too heavy for you or for I to, to lift. And the good news is that Jesus' followers trust that he has lifted it on our behalf, that he's done the heavy, the heavy lifting, that he's fulfilled all things before God so that we don't have to. We just stand in his goodness. That's why it's such an incredible message, the gospel. And we stand in his goodness, first of all, that he's done it, we're made right before God. But secondly, that he can help us. Uh, he's, he, he's, he's the perfect saviour in so much as he saves us initially and then he helps us continually. And so that thing that you struggle with, that you find really hard, and that on a Sunday morning you say, I'm never going to do this again for the rest of my life, and then you've messed it up by Tuesday... God will help. What we need to do is say, look, Lord, I want to deal with this. I'm determined to deal with it. The moment that we do that, the moment that we ask for help, the Holy Spirit says, all right, here I come. We can partner together. We can do this together. Be determined to obey God's word. But also, in truth, the only way we ever will is by asking him for help.